Now I'll say hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's good to see you all today. I know you're not in here quite yet, but um, it's nice that we can come on here and get together and um, hi, Jay. <laughs> um, I was kind of planning on doing this a couple days ago and just hadn't gotten here to this point yet, but today ended up being pretty good. Hi, Helen. <laughs> Um, I know my face kind of looks yellow. I don't have the correct makeup for this time of year, so I'm not tan. <laughs> Big Den. <laughs> um, so, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to look a little yellow. At least the big red blotches won't show. <laughs> but in comparison to my neck, <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's a different color. I don't know why it looks yellow on here, but anyway, so um, I thought I would come on and um, talk about patience and how patience, um, it's a tough one to learn for some people. And um, I have patience with certain things. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Um, hi, Helen. Um, Kush rolled. <laughs> Um, so, uh, hi, the watchman. How are you? <laughs> Excuse me. You know, um, it's kind of a yellowy brown. I think it's called honey beige. And in the summer I get really brown and this is the color that I guess matches me best. But, um, I, uh, I don't have the funds to just go spend on things. And so at least, like I said, at least it covers, covers the blotchy red. <laughs> I have a lot of red in my skin. Anyway, probably due to my Heinz 57 um, genealogy, <laughs> I'm a little bit of everything. But um, I thought today would be a good time to share um, um, about patience and probably a lot of you already know about patience. Um, back in 91, when I was saved, I learned, um, what patience was all about. And, um, I had a, I had a son who kept me very busy and he, um, there was days when I thought I was going to go out of my mind. I wasn't used to a child who didn't, um, behave like I did when I was a kid. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but as a little kid, I was a really good little kid, really good little kid. I had, I, I wouldn't say a curse word. Even if my, even if my parents said they would spank me, I just wouldn't curse. I wouldn't, I was always really kind. Um, I always stuck up for the underdog. I would never stick up for myself, but um, of course, things change. Hi, Ilea. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I love that turkey. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, so when I was at, um, at the church that I was attending when I got saved, I didn't get saved in church. I actually got saved in my own living room and then began um going to church. But anyway, um, I prayed. One of the things I prayed for was patience because I felt like I really lacked patience with my son. And um, so during a women's Bible study that was kind of a one-on-one -on -one study, um, I decided that the thing that I was going to pray for for the next week would be patience. And um, so <laughs> that week, was so slow. I thought I was going to go out of my mind. My boy was off the hook. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my gosh. I thought, I really thought I was going to go Looney Tunes. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I can't imagine that, Ellen. But so the following Wednesday, a week later, I go back and um, my pastor's wife asked me 
how my week went. And she said that she prayed for me and um, she wanted to know how, how things went. And I said, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, this kid was just out of hand that I don't, I don't know if I can do this. He is just out of hand. I need patience and I need it now kind of thing, you know? So she went, praise God. And I was really puzzled <laughs> being really new anyway. And she said, I says, really? Praise God. Yes, that's how you get patience. You learn patience. And I'm sure I had that look like deer in the headlights look. You got to be kidding me. But over time, um, it really does work eventually because you continue to pray about it and you you do learn patience. And I thought I'd never be there. And I can't say that I always am the best because we're human. We, we fail. But the nice thing is, is we can always go and ask forgiveness and be serious about it. Not just, oh, I've, yeah, I'm really sorry. I mean, you have to be serious about it. And um, with the patience, it becomes easier and easier the more you seek. Well, that kind of ties in with the rug. And today I'm on the last row, which the row kind of ends up being two all in one because you make a circle. If you count from the center, well, let's see. No, I'm telling wrong. But anyway, <laughs> hi, Tina. That's wonderful. You made it. Hi, Knowledge. <laughs> Good to see you both. Um, anyway, um, I'm on row 17. And um, I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to work on something, you know, solid. I have before, like when I was ill, I would work on something solid, you know, constantly pretty much and and then have rests in between of course because you're not feeling well or whatever but how in just a short amount of time basically you can have a finished product with a little bit of patience and you have to be patient with yourself and this is gonna kind of it's big <laughs> But in time, you get there. You get to the end. And it probably isn't the best way to show it off, but it's all I have at the moment. So I thought the edge would be nice to do a darker color, possibly introduce one of these more tan or a brown color on the edge so that it kind of ties the whole thing together. But if I don't have it, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just a rug that you put your feet on and scrape off the dust or the dirt. <laughs> Usually I kind of go more by if something will fit. But anyway, that's where we are with the, the, the rug. And um, Someone had asked, oh, I believe it was um, in last, was it last, yeah, last night's, um, in, in Marv's um, live, um, Sean Samuels had asked um, how it was coming along. And I thought, you know, it's probably time to do another live anyway, because I have a, a few um, tips and hints and, um, or a couple anyway, um, that I wanted to share. And then also, the little deal about patience. Patience was a big deal for me to learn because um, my my boy boy was he was such a challenge. Oh, but he he ended up being a lot of fun, even though he was a challenge. Um, I had to keep as busy as he was, <laughs> learning how to keep him busy, <laughs> and in the in the in the right way, and being a part. And um, he, he was he was funny. We did things. Chores at my house became a game so that chores were fun 
and the the victory of finishing um, was was the prize rather than some thing because I know we had a tough time um, when he was first you know for the first five years of his life I worked in a factory and yes they do Jay they do this oh the strips of cloth um, they can vary um, but I suggest for a medium weight fabric, um, anywhere from one and a half to two inches wide. And, um, but it really kind of depends on the fabric. It, it really is best if you use 100% cotton and you tear the strips. That's the best. Um, you can use synthetic fabrics. Um, synthetic fabrics, um, you can't really tear very well. They they just don't tear very well. So what you need to do with them is uh, cut them. You could draw lines if you want and cut them. Or if you've got one of those, um, I forget what they're called. It's, it's like a little roller and it's a blade. I can't even think of what it's called. Anyway, uh, rotary, rotary cutter and a, a mat. If you have one of those and a ruler to guide you, you just do it with the grain of the fabric. So that works pretty good. But um, yeah, Kelly, <laughs> my boy, we did things like um, uh, we had an apple tree and there would be a lot of apples that would fall from the tree and they were no good. And of course, anything that was good, we kept and used. But yes, old blue jeans do work. I used <laughs> one of my um, um, uniforms from when I was at the grocery store. When it was worn out, I used the the uh, jeans from that. They weren't really jeans, but they were a heavier fabric. And um, it works. And, um, but... Um, he didn't want to pick up, he didn't want to pick up the apples. And hi, Patty. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad all of you are here, actually. <laughs> and if anybody um, would like their channel um, link uh, dropped in here, let Jay know. Let's see, who else do I have in here? I think maybe Jay is the only mod I have in here at the moment. Oh, Ilea's in here too. I think I'm pretty sure my Ilea is a, a mod also. Anyway, um, so it became a game. The apples became a game. And for every apple you got, you know, one point or five points or whatever it was. And whoever got the most points at the end of tossing them into this basket, then that's what, that was the winner. Instead of um, because it seemed like every time we would go into any store, it didn't matter if it was a grocery store, um, you know, like a Walmart or a Kmart or anywhere where they have, you know, multiple different kinds of things you can purchase there. He always thought he had to, <laughs> yes, Ilea. Ilea is a mod as well. And, um, if you guys want your channel, um, links dropped, please feel free. I know knowledge has one, um, Let's see. I know there's several people and um, that have channels and please feel free to ask if you can um, drop your links because I, I think we should support one another. So anyhow, um, um, We'd go into a store and it, it never failed, which is typical of children because they think because you're buying something, then um, hey, Jay, you want to get that uh, interesting Jay or Ilea? Mo, Mo doesn't want to play the game right. 
either that or talk with them. We're not going to worry about Mr. Smith today. You're welcome to stay if you'd like to. Um, we just want we just want good stuff. Anyway, um, he would uh, he would always want something and a toy, which is pretty typical. Um, a lot of times, you know, if there was nothing else, mom, mom, can I have some money? And it would be at the, the little coin operated machine, you know? So hi, Ginger. <laughs> yes. Knowledge is really good. Uh, actually, all you guys have good stuff. It's, it's not just one or two. There's everybody has something to offer. And that's why I think it's really important that we share those things. Definitely. Um, it, it's because we all have gifts and, um, and knowledge. <laughs> um, and I do know, I want to say real quick too, a lot of times um, people that are trying to get away from uh Hi, Barefoot, trying to get away from this platform here, have channels on other places, um, Rumble Odyssey. And so you want to check their um, description area or their um, pinned comments. Um, oh, that's OK, Jay. Um, I'll see if I can. Um, <laughs> I'm never for certain where I need to be when I'm looking for my own channel. <laughs> oh, here we are. No, oh, that's weird. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Well, for some reason, I'm seeing things here on the computer that aren't on my phone. So there's something up. Which doesn't surprise me. That's okay. Huh. Just a second, guys. Sorry to take that time away from you. Um, I just have never seen that before. 
and it's odd. That's okay though. I don't, I don't think it was a mod actually. Um, I'm not sure. The watchman you saw, did you see that? Yeah. Huh. There was there was um they were definitely um being naughty, but that's okay. Um they can be as naughty as they want. I know how to get rid of them too. <laughs> um, huh? This is really weird because um, even though they're blocked they're able to come back in. Must have a bunch of them. Anyway, I will, um, um, Bones, you made it. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> anyway, um, some of the things that I was going to share with you were different ideas because I know um, a lot of crafters get creative ideas on how they can make things um, work for them when they don't have all the right equipment. Some people buy the right equipment, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but some of us don't have the money to buy the equipment, the the storage boxes to put it all in, and the the product that you want to work with. So, and and I'm somebody who likes to make do, and um, as long as I'm not selling something, it's okay to do things like copy, um, do like a. If you're just doing it for yourself, there's nothing wrong with. Um, taking an old magazine or something and um, finding a really cool looking, um, okay, say for instance, this, even though this is just in a gardening magazine, that's a really cool looking picture that, that I would love to do in watercolors. And um, I, I don't know, I would not, I wouldn't have a problem just, you know, tracing it out of there and it's okay, Ilya. I can see him. So I, I would imagine whatever's happening is happening just on my computer, which is interesting because <laughs> it's not my computer. <laughs> it's my sister's. Well, she's given it to me, but anyway, so, um, Oh, that's okay, Bones. It's just great having you here. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think it's okay to do a basic shape and wear that to me. I think that's I think that's pretty. I might not make it exactly like that, but you could get a basic shape or look at it even. Um, I'm not above tracing. And if it's just going to be a gift for someone or something for myself, there's no harm in that. It's when you try to make money on it and mass duplicate. And that's when things get crazy and you don't want to do that. Another thing for, for um, someone who wants to keep a pattern around and I won't go buy the sheets. I won't, I won't do it because I have things that I can use that, um, that take the place of tracing a pattern and okay, this is, I'm not going to turn it so that you can see the, um, I don't want to turn it because I know that they can get you for, you know, showing a brand, but like, 
and I'll put my hand in front. I don't think, yeah. Like there's these clear salad containers or strawberry containers. If they're flat like these, um, you can cut these strips and you can use um, a permanent marker to draw yourself, um, you know, a, a nice pattern and reuse that pattern to make more. So, Sorry, guys, my um, computer needed refreshed. Hi, Dex. <laughs> I guess you probably <laughs> noticed that um, I gave you a wrench. <laughs> If, if you don't want to be, just let me know. <laughs> I gave one to Marv, too. <laughs> we have, we have, we have someone in here playing funny games. And um, for some reason, my mods can't see him. Only I can. So if you're able to see him, that'd be awesome. Um, I just got rid of one right now. Um, thank you, Dex. <laughs> oh, I blocked Dex. Oh, I blocked Dex. How did that happen? What? I didn't block Dex. What in the heck? That somebody is. I'm wondering. Okay, this is really weird. It's sh it's showing on my side that you were blocked, Dex. This is really weird. Oh, okay. Well, here's what's happening. I'm getting all different kinds of names and they're saying troll things about Will Smith. And I don't want Will Smith talked about today. It's not what we're on. Um, and when I went to that name, it wasn't Dex, it was a different name. And Yeah, I re when I blocked that person, it came up that I blocked Dex again. I did not block Dex this time. I know I didn't. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is bizarre. I'm getting a, this is weird. Oh, well, they can say whatever they want to say. We'll just, thank you, Dex. Um, I don't understand how come you guys can't see the trolls, but I can. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> um, right now, there's somebody that's going by the name Real American Man's Man, and it says, I have a victim. Uh, I have been a victim of, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. They're coming all up. <laughs> it's weird. 
Um, if it's possible for you, any of you to see what's going on, you're welcome to um, take them out. Hmm. I want to. The problem is I'm not sure if that's really him. And I believe it is, but at the same time, why did it show that I... I don't get it. I, I don't know. Uh, this is bizarre. You can see the trolls. Bones, you said you can see the trolls. You can. Yes, I, I, I know that that's what it says. Okay, thanks, Dex. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it on my phone. It's not letting me do it here. I don't know how to do it here, apparently. This is just aggravating, isn't it? Precious Heavenly Father, glory is going to come to your name over this because we rebuke anything the adversary has. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus and we'll give God all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I think we got we got Dex back in the saddle. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> Yay. Yep, you're back. It's weird how there's people who just uh I guess they have nothing better to do. They must be bored. Bummer. Well, maybe we can entertain them. Um Oh, hi, Gene Hackman. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this is a really cool idea. I've done it myself lots of times. You can either trace something on here with a permanent pen, or if you're looking for the shape so that you can cut something, you can actually take, um, you can use scissors, but um, what works really good is like, um, and by the way, hello to everybody that I've missed. And I know there's been a few people come in since, since the beginning, but, um, it, uh, prayers do work. Prayers do work. Um, um, it works really good for tracing around because with, with like heavy paper, even though it'll work for a while, eventually it starts to wear down the edges and, you know, it's not the same, it's either not the same shape or it's a much smaller version of the same shape. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that works really good. Plus it's see-through. So if you need to see the pattern that's underneath so that you place it in the right place and cut the right spot, it works really good. R works really good. <laughs> but um, anyway, I, uh, I, I've used those for years cause they're just handy. <laughs> oh, so, um, I was going to let beeps come, come on with me for a second. So you could see how lazy she was being ever since I've been spending a lot of time up with, um, um, my former husband. Um, it's, uh, it's been kind of, hard for her because this past couple weeks I haven't I think it's been a couple weeks now that I haven't been taking her with me and um she she's 
she's jealous now that I'm spending time away. And so she wants to stay close with me wherever I'm at. And, and then sometimes, you know, she gets touch, she gets uh, stepped on or she doesn't like the way she's not getting her attention. So I put her next to me here, but she woke up before I was able to get to her. So, um, so she, um, not sure why, but I'm not able for some reason to get these people out of my computer or whatever's being done. So if you guys can see that Mr. McDonald's, I don't know, you probably already got him. There's like a lot of people apparently that are bored. <laughs> Hi, Leon. I didn't, I didn't know um, that you were there. Um, anyway, today was kind of just a, a little bit of a, a patience lesson because it was for me anyway. And if it, if it helps anybody to know something. Um, oh, okay. Thanks, Dex. <laughs> um, if that, if that little bit helps you guys, um, that would be awesome um, because I think that we need to uh, help each other, lift each other up, like Marv always says. And I do agree um, that positive, positive positivity is so much more welcome and uh, it's a loving thing to do. So... Um, please. <laughs> well, we appreciate you too, Dex, because I know, I know there's been times when there was so much going on that <laughs> we needed, we needed that extra little hand and you have been amazing, actually amazing. Um, <laughs> there's, there's so many times when I'm like, Ding. <laughs> and anybody that knows me well, like you and and um, several of the mods. <laughs> um, oh, Beebs is changing her mind. She's going to come around. Um, it, uh, it has really helped having someone there to um, bounce ideas off of, to ask questions, because when like discord there's a lot of people in discord and you're constantly helping them and i wasn't very good at knowing how to help always and so i wanted to be that that um hi rebel and mick <laughs> um it was it was great having someone there that all you have to do is ask and i know that you did your best to always be there as quick as possible and and I know I really appreciate that because I know, I know both Jay and I spent a lot of time in there, you know, working in there and trying to help the people and we all have a different style and that's awesome. So, um, I, I really appreciated you and I still do not that I don't, but you know what I mean? Um, because if we didn't have you, um, oh man, it would be it would be tougher, a lot tougher. And I'm I appreciate and love you a lot. Hi, Major. Gosh, it must be like getting late where he's at. Anyway, that's pretty much and I don't know how to get you off of here. Let's see. So that you don't have to be on the screen all the whole time. However, I like it. <laughs> you said the perfect thing. Then I knew for sure it was you. <laughs> well, you guys, um, I would like to get off here for now. I guess I only have 20 hours total for the month. Um, I don't know if that continues after always or if at a certain point I get to increase my hours. Um, Dex is awesome. 
you guys are all awesome. We all have something to add. We all have something to put in the pot to make things better. And here comes Biebs. <laughs> and um, excuse me. Create another account. Make them alive. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I'm not sure how many hours I have. I did get a warning in, and and it let me know that I was nearing the 20. 20 hour mark, but that was, that was only just maybe I probably had, I think I had like eight hours left and I haven't even used close to that. So it's possible that come here. No, oh, don't step on. Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. It has to be her idea. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so um, I don't know if I'll have enough time to come on. I'm sure I will have enough time to come on before the month is over. But if I do, I'll try to make it worth my while um, and um, or worth my while, worth everyone's while. <laughs> that sounded so selfish. <laughs> Here we go. I'm selfish. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I love you all. I really love you all and you have all been a blessing and have shaped and mold shaped and molded me in some way. And I might not have always been perfect and I might even have made bad choices, but my intentions are for sure really good now. And I, I just, I love you all and I'm keeping you all in my prayers. I love you guys. See you tonight later. Bye-bye.